Hello, boys and girls. This is the last day of our Cleotic camp. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed the first four days. So I'm delighted to have you back. Just to let you know, um, I had to re-record this again because it, my first 10 minutes of my morning camp didn't actually record. So I'm just doing 10 minutes on this and then sending you the other link for the other 50 minutes. So just to recap, um, yesterday we made a wand and we made our mermaid. So hope they dried out for you as they should have. Um, this one is a little bit um, still a little bit spongy, but you can um, leave it for another couple of days and then it'll be rock solid. So um, they worked out good. So today, boys and girls, we need these three tools here and we need our pots marked number five, which is a blue and an orange. And then the other one is our orange and yellow. OK, so the first character we're going to make today is actually it's a little Pegasus horse. It's a little character from Greek mythology as well. So it's a little horse, a flying horse, basically. And girls, you can add a little unicorn horn if you want. Boys, you don't have to. OK. So then the next thing we're going to do today is this here. This is our Phoenix magnet. It's actually going to be a little magnet. OK, so we're going to get clay and just let you know as well, you should have some substantial amount of clay. I've quite a lot and I've been making a lot more models than you. So you should have a substantial amount of that. So we need that today as well. OK, so I'm going to bring this down and let's get clay. So in this tub here, we're going to get our blue. So this is for our Pegasus horse. So I'm just going to nip out the blue and we're going to go through the basic shapes we need to know. So you all have perfected them by now, but we still need to recap and reiterate these shapes in order to make good quality characters. So the first shape is a ball. OK, and then Second shape, I'm sure you all know by now, is a droplet. So over and back like this, over and back like this. So that is our little droplet. And then the third and final shape is a sausage. Yes, very good. So they're the three shapes we need to know to make anything from Cleotic, okay? So with the amount of blue I've given you, it's very important that we get our proportions right. For this little character here. So the amount of blue here is to do obviously all the little body, the head and the legs of our little Pegasus, Pegasus character. OK, so we're going to divide. We're going to divide this into three. We're going to divide it into two first. OK, so into two. So remember, decide with the halfway mark and then. Put it in half like that. So you've got two halves and then the other half you're going to Cut that in half. OK, so this is the amount here we're going to use for our legs. OK, so I'm going to put that aside as well. So just get rid of that. And then this is the amount we're going to use for our legs. So into a ball and we're going to divide it into four. So one, two, three and four. OK. So we need to have good sturdy legs. So there are a droplet, but they're not pointy droplets. They're small little roundy droplets. So I'm going to show you what I mean by this. Into a ball and then into a droplet, but nothing too pointy because you want the body to rest on that. So then this is the other one here. Into a ball, into a droplet, flatten it. So it's flatten it. You flatten it on the table. You want it like that, like that, OK? So then the other one into a ball, into a droplet, and then flatten it on the table. Into a ball, into a droplet, and then flatten it on the table. So you've got four quite sturdy, you want them sturdy legs. So to support the to support the actual body. OK, so then I'm going to. To take out some of the orange. So look, I mean, small little amount of orange. And then we're going to oops, divide it into four. So one, two, three, four. 
And then we're going to, it's for the little hooves, the little hoof section. I'll just show you what I'm doing here. So it's kind of these little guys here, the little horseshoes or the hooves. So I'm going to roll them into sausages and I'm going to put them like that, like that. And then indent. So that's where you want to indent. Okay, oops, I'm bad there. So we're going to roll it again. Just to go back into the sausage, you have four little sausage shapes. And then you put it to the base like that. And you indent up like that. Okay. So you want them for the back ones as well. So into, into a ball, into a sausage. And then like that, an indent. And same for the other one. So it's four little sausages like that. An indent. Okay. Let me see here. Indent. So four little legs are what we're after. So have a little look at that.